If you're thinking about playing Crow, then probably one of the most important things you need to learn is the loop. Now, what is the loop and why is it so important? The loop is basically Crow's BMB that loops into itself if you have meter. This means you will be doing it a lot. This is your damage route, your corner carry route, your meter burn route. You can confirm into OD from it. You can fuzzy into it. Trust me, you will be doing this a lot. So before anyone asks, yes, there is an easy version of it. No, I don't recommend it. But if you want it, here it is. Alright, so the reason why I don't recommend it is because it's pretty much worse than the actual loop in every single way. It does worse damage, it has way worse corner carry, it builds you less meter, and the loop itself is really not that hard once you get down to it. Alright, with that out of the way, let's look at the actual loop itself. So this looks daunting at first, but let's break it down. So it starts with the rising jump medium. You buffer that into slicer, otherwise known as special 2. And once you land, you do close heavy, and you buffer that into forward disc. Now you take that forward disc and you dash cancel it, and you basically repeat the entire process again. Simple, right? Well, I think the reason why a lot of newer players struggle with the loop is because there are three possible mistakes that can happen during the combo. First, the close heavy requires a neutral input, and the forward disc obviously requires a forward input, which means that if you're not used to the timing, and especially if you're matching when you're new, you're very likely to get forward heavy on accident. To fix this, practice doing close heavy into forward disc and dash cancelling it. The next mistake is getting neutral disc instead of forward disc right after close heavy. You need forward disc because it hits later than neutral disc and it gives you the time that you need in order to dash and get the rising jump medium for the next rep. This will not combo with a neutral disc. Once again, to get this down, just practice doing close heavy into forward disc and dash cancelling it. The final mistake, and probably the most common one, is doing the rising jump medium too early and getting close medium instead. This is just a timing issue, and honestly, at this point, I would just say practice the whole sequence until you get it. But if you want, you can just isolate it and just practice doing rising jump medium after a dash. Alright, let's talk how to end the combo. These are your options. Doing disc into sweep is your easiest option, but this is not recommended because it puts your disc on cooldown and gives you bad okey. After slicer doing close medium linked into sweep does less damage than the previous combo, but it preserves your disc giving you very strong okey. If you want to, you can confirm into super from disc. All these options become much more potent in the corner, giving you stronger OK and a much better combo after OD. Lastly, if you're running Sting, you can get max damage and excellent OK if you can link a micro walk jab right after disc. This is pretty difficult on smaller characters. Now that you know everything you need to know about the loop, all that's left is to practice it. Start with getting just the base sequence without any meter extensions, then start adding reps as much as you want. Once you get down past two reps, set your own goals. Being a certain number of reps, like 10 reps, a certain number of hits, like 50 hits or something, or maybe going corner to corner, to corner, Do what you like until you're comfortable with it. Anyway, that's all I had planned for this video. So if you have any questions, that means I failed. Uh, so let me know in case I ever decide to remake this video. Uh, other than that, uh, here's the audio of me doing the corner to corner to corner uh, combo. Uh, just in case you are more of an auditory person and it helps you learn your timing. All right, that's it. See ya.